Dawa also Dawa, Dawa or Dakwa, Arabic, DW invitation, is the proselytizing or preaching of Islam. Topic <inaudible> etymology. Dawa literally means issuing a summons or making an invitation. Grammatically, the word represents a gerund of a verb with the triconsonantal root d, w, d, w meaning variously, to summon, or to invite. A Muslim who practices dawah, either as a religious worker or in a volunteer community effort, is called a dai, de plural dwa, dwa dat. A dai, as a person who invites people to understand Islam through dialogue, may be regarded as a missionary inviting people to the faith, prayer and manner of Islamic life. <laughs> Early Islam The term dawah has other senses in the Quran. In Surah chapter 30 to 25, for example, it denotes the call to the dead to rise on the day of judgment. When used in the Quran, it generally refers to Allah's invitation to live according to his will. Thus, when used in the first centuries of Islam, it usually referred to that message and was sometimes used interchangeably with sharia and din. Dawah is also described as the duty to actively encourage fellow Muslims in the pursuance of greater piety in all aspects of their lives." A definition which has become central to contemporary Islamic thought. <laughs> During Muhammad's era During the expedition of Al-Raji in 625, Muhammad sent some men as missionaries to various different tribes. Some men came to Muhammad and requested that Muhammad send instructors to teach them Islam, but the men were bribed by the two tribes of Kuzayma, who wanted revenge for the assassination of Khalid bin Sufyan chief of the Banu Lahian tribe by Muhammad's followers. A number of missionaries were killed in this expedition, either eight or, according to another account, ten. Then during the expedition of Bir Mauna in July 625 Muhammad sent some missionaries at the request of some men from the Banu Amir tribe, but the Muslims were again killed in revenge for the assassination of Khalid bin Sufyan by Muhammad's followers. Seventy Muslims were killed during this expedition. During the expedition of Khalid ibn al Walid in January 630, Muhammad sent Khalid ibn Walid to invite the Banu Jadima tribe to Islam. This is mentioned in the Sunni Hadith Sahih al Bukhari, 559, 628. Muse' Ab ibn' Umar was the first Muslim envoy in September 621. He was sent to Yathrib now Medina, to teach the people the doctrines of Islam and give them guidance. <laughs> Post-Muhammad After Muhammad's death in 632, from the available historical evidence, it appears that after Muhammad's death Muslims did not immediately embark upon Dawah activities, during and after the rapid conquests of the Byzantine and Persian lands, they ventured little if at all to preach to local non-Muslims. Dawah came into wider usage almost a hundred years after Muhammad's death, in the wake of Abbasid propaganda against the then-ruling Umayyad clan in the 720s. However, the Abbasid Dawah ceased as soon as the Abbasids were in power—a fact that attests to its political nature. Dawah as a truly missionary activity, albeit still within the Muslim Ummah, appeared in the form of the Ismaili Dawah of the 9th through 13th centuries. Ismailis, in many ways, can be seen as the pioneers of the organized Muslim missionary activities, their highly institutionalized and sophisticated Dawah structure has hardly been repeated until today. Moreover, for the Ismailis, Dawah was a state priority. The Ismaili Dawah encompassed extra and intra Umatic forms and blended both theology and politics. Purpose 
In Islamic theology, the purpose of dawah is to invite people, Muslims and non-Muslims, to understand the worship of God as expressed in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad and to inform them about Muhammad. Dawah as the call towards God is the means by which Muhammad began spreading the message of the Quran to mankind. After Muhammad, his followers and the Ummah Muslim community assumed responsibility for it. They convey the message of the Quran by providing information on why and how the Quran preaches monotheism. Muhammad saw Islam as the true religion and mission of all earlier prophets. He believed that their call had been limited to their own people but that his was universal. His mission as the final prophet was to repeat to the whole world this call and invitation dawah to Islam. Muhammad wrote to various non-Muslim rulers, inviting them to convert. Proselytism The importance of dawah has been emphasized many times in the Quran. Who is better in speech than one who calls to Allah, does righteous deeds and says indeed I am among the Muslims. You are the best nation raised up for humankind. You enjoin righteousness, forbid corruption and you believe in Allah. Let there arise among you a group inviting to all that is good, enjoining righteousness and forbidding evil. Those are the successful ones. Call to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good preaching. In the Hadith sayings of Muhammad, Dawah is mentioned to emphasize importance and virtues. Whoever directs someone to do good will gain the same reward as the one who does good. Whoever calls to guidance will receive the same reward as the one who follows him without any decrease in the reward of his follower. For Allah to guide someone by your hand is better for you than having red camels. In ancient Arabia, camels, especially of a reddish hue, were considered particularly valuable property. Convey from me, even if it be only a single verse. Muhammad sent Moa ibn Jabal to Yemen and told him, You will be going to Christians and Jews, so the first thing you should invite them to is the assertion of the oneness of Allah, Most High. If they realize that, then inform them that Allah has made five daily prayers obligatory on them. If they pray them, then inform them that Allah has made the payment of charity from their wealth obligatory on their rich to be given to their poor. If they accept that, then take it from them and avoid the best part of people's property. Proselytizing methods Gentleness. With regard to Muhammad's mild nature in preaching Islam, the Quran says, And by the mercy of Allah you dealt with them gently. If you were harsh and hard-hearted, they would have fled from around you. Quran 3 159. The Quran says about Moses and Aaron who preached to Pharaoh, the claimant of God. So speak to him, both of you, mildly in order that he may reflect or fear God. Quran 2044. Muhammad was reported by his wife, Aisha to have said, whenever gentleness is in a thing, it beautifies it, and whenever it is withdrawn from something, it defaces. Muhammad was quoted by Jarrah as saying, one deprived of gentleness is deprived of all good. Influence in politics Muslims made it a part of their political theory through relating dawah to jihad and life using the concept of dawah in their political agendas. Taken in general, the intertwining of dawah and politics, then, has been a feature throughout the Muslim history, though practical implications of this have been different in different ages. <laughs> Wisdom Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good instruction, and argue with them in a way that is best. Indeed, your Lord is most knowing of who has strayed from his way, and he is most knowing of who is rightly guided.
Quran 16-125, a classical example of diversion in Dawa can be seen in the case of Prophet Yusuf in prison when two prisoners asked him to interpret their dreams. One of them said, I saw myself pressing wine. The other said, I saw myself carrying bread on my head and birds were eating from it. They asked, inform us of the interpretation of these things. Indeed, we believe you are one of the righteous. He replied, whenever food came to you as your provision, I informed you about it before it came. That is from what my Lord has taught me. As for one of you, he will pour wine for his Lord to drink, and as for the other, he will be crucified and birds will eat from his head. This is the case judged concerning which you both inquire. Quran 1235-41 Speaking a common language I did not send any messenger except that he spoke the language of his people to explain to them. Quran 14-4 Location Doing Dawa in the right location. For example, Mount Safa in the time of Muhammad was used for announcements. So Muhammad went there to make his point. He chose that particular location because he knew the people who he was inviting to Islam. He knew their nature and characteristics, so he chose Mount Safa. He climbed up to its summit and addressed his people saying, O people of Quraysh, if I were to tell you there was an army behind this hill would you listen to me? Topic proselytizing movements Modern Dawa movements are varied in their objectives and activities. Examples include, the Muslim Brotherhood has focused on a methodology of building grassroots institutions and funding welfare projects, which has helped it survive decades of repression under various dictatorship in many Middle Eastern countries, with the group and its many offshoots still enjoying popular support and power. Jamaat-e-Islami has focused on presenting Islam as a complete way of life and on the methodology of building grassroots institutions and funding welfare projects. Tablighi Jamaat works on trying to bring the Muslims back to the fundamental practices of Islam such as worship, they do this by encouraging members to speak and to teach them the virtues of good actions. The movement has a following of between 100 and 150 million people. Ahmed Didat was a notable debater who was a revolutionary figure among Muslims for his effort in debating Christian polemics. Many Muslim debaters from popular debaters to grassroots Dawa campaigners use his books and videos as reference material. Zakir Naik was a student of Ahmed Didat and followed in his teacher's footsteps by debating Christian polemics and by holding Q&A sessions with Christians. Zakir Naik is particularly notable for taking the effort of debating Christian polemics to the Muslim mainstream with his popular channel Peace TV. HIZB Uttarir is a movement which focuses on educating the Muslim masses about the caliphate and on establishing it. IERA is a research institute based in London which seeks to debate Muslim and non-Muslim intellectuals, help new Muslims, train speakers and produce academic research papers on Dawa issues. Hikma Times in Singapore there is a significant impact of the Islamic Dawa invitation movement. There are many local, international organizations e.g. Hikma Times. The Deen Muhammad Sheikh Mission has converted over 110,000 Hindus to Islam in Pakistan. al nasabori Code of Conduct depicts the values in which Deus should spread the word of Islam to Muslims and non-Muslims. Idris's work presents us with an indigenous account of the traditions of the Dawa in Yemen. His account of the Nizari Mastali succession dispute reflects the official view of the Tayyibis, the only surviving Mastali Ismaili community who, after the death of al Amir, recognized the later Fatimid caliphs as their imams, but did not long survive the collapse of the Fatimid at the hands of the Abid state in 1171. See also Spread of Islam Islamic missionary activity Footnotes <laughs>